Right then, guys, um, a big welcome. Hey, I want to uh, warm welcome because it's uh, chilly. It's chi it's not, we're not in Chile, but it's chilly. Yeah. <laughs> See what I did there, baby? Uh, another technical Tuesday. Um, in lockdown 2.0, two weeks for Holland, three weeks for France, four weeks for the UK. And well, probably in the rest of the world, it's going to be worse as well. And it's, it's not going to be good. One positive thing about this. We're here with KRT, Technical Tuesdays, Thunder Thursdays, Super Saturdays. Um, and we posted up uh, the schedule for the next coming uh, uh, weeks for the month of November. Um, yeah, today we're going to work on uh, syllabus again. Uh, we start off with sixth Q today. <laughs> we hope. <laughs> Let's just leave it there. <laughs> we'll a little bit across the sixth Q, but hey, at least we're going to do sixth Q today and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, <laughs> uh, because we always talk a lot and uh, we tend to uh, take a lot of time for the techniques, but hey, it's good. If you got a question, please use the chat. I'm going to spotlight Mr. Stringer now. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we, we've got all these illustrious plans like every week to get through a certain amount of grades and techniques. But um, as we all know, as uh, history has taught us, we're, we're really rubbish at that. So uh, let's enjoy the session. As Wesley said, lockdown, but we're here, we're together and that's all that matters. And we'll keep training for it regardless. So, um, yes, uh, do pay attention to the schedule. If you've got any other dojos, of course, that are, are on lockdown, tell them about us. They're more than welcome to join in. We are not an exclusive club. We are open for all and everyone can join in. So, um, uh, yeah. Um, if, if, that's, if the club that's... wants to join in, it costs them 100 quid if, uh, each session, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they owe us backdated. Backdated to, to, to March. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, um, let's get started anyway. Um, as Wesley said, we're going to start off with 6Q. Um, I'm going to start off with Yurak and Shomagaman Uch. And then um, we're just going to back back and forwards like uh, like usual. And hopefully we give you some ideas and correct our techniques and, of course, improve. Okay, so enjoy and let's go. Um, right, so um, obviously with Eurakens, uh, we want a uh, nice loose wrist. So let's just loosen off. Um, nice and loose on the wrists. Let's just uh, bounce up and down as well, just to get a little bit of warmth in the body. <clears throat> Remember, loose wrist, tight fist. That's what we're looking for in these techniques. Okay, just shake loose and circle the elbows because a lot of them are tricky techniques. All the way around and just rotate the body, relax them elbows and them wrists at the moment. <clears throat> Okay, <coughs> right, so Yurak and Shaman Gamaluch. Okay, looking for approximately height of the jaw. We're looking for a 90 degree angle, just slightly apart with the fists. A lot of people hold them together, myself included, but actually we should be controlling them just slightly apart. Now, okay, remember we're not out wide with the elbows and we're not perfectly in here. Just relax in position. Now, obviously, from this, we start off square as the arm goes out and back. The shoulders angle ever so slightly each time. Okay, please don't just do this. We're just relying on arm strength, no core, and no rotation. We want to see a little bit of rotation, not too much because it's a striking technique, and we are striking to the bridge of the nose. <clears throat> Remember, it needs to come up, forward, roll, back, and down. Okay, up, forward, roll to the nose, back, and down. Making sure we get this bit. Those people just end up doing this or this. It has to roll out and back. Okay. <clears throat> Right, so we're going to start off with um, ju just just the one hand first. So we're going to do 10 on the right, 10 on the left, and all we're looking at doing is up, back, up, back. No 
low flex on the wrist at the moment, up in position. And we're just starting to, as one hand goes forward, we start to angle this body ever so slightly. Not 45 like we're striking. So 10 on the right, 10 on the left, then we'll revisit the flick bit, and then we'll add it all together. Okay, ready? So in position, nice easy stance, food dachi, if you want to be in the sanctioned dachi or a, a, a hikodachi, it's entirely up to you. Okay, ready? So itch, no wrist. Ni, san, shi, go, ruk, ish, itch, ke, chi, ande, avara, itch. Ni, san, chi, go, ruk, ish, ach, ge, ji. Okay, next little bit. So we're going to leave the arm up there and we're just rotating in. Okay, so we're just pushing up just a little bit more and rotate in at the end as it comes back. Nice and parallel. Don't bring it all the way back. So we're going to keep the angle here. Keep nice, good tension. In, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten on the other hand. Then we're going to put it all together miraculously and move over to Wesley. And hopefully we can move along a bit pronto this week. <laughs> okay, ready? So, one hand up. Ready? Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rook. Ish, ach, ke, chi, ante, upper arm. Itch, ni, san, chi, go, ruk, shish, ach, ke, chi. Okay, right. So now keep nice and easy at the moment. We're just going to do 10 alternate without the snap. Nice and easy with the technique, making sure we are going through the full technique. Okay? Ten will turn out nice and easy. You ready? Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rook. Shish. Ach. Ke. Chi. Okay. Just relax. Because we've done a lot um, fairly slow, and now we want to start snapping those arms in. Remember, out and back, relax the wrist, tense the fist. Okay, so we've got uh, 20 just to, uh, just to get going with, and then we'll move over to Wesley. Okay, ready? In we go. Starting with the right arm first, all turner, and remember to angle them shoulders. Ready? H, D, Sun, Chi, Go! Right then, so, all good? Good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> all right then guys, so next, uh, next technique, uh, uh, as on the uh, normal way we do this Tuesdays, we don't go in order of the full syllabus, the sequence. Us. So the next technique is going to be Rakan Oroshi Gamenuchi. Us. So Oshi. from up, down. Us. So um, most important, we start off the way we start off Soto Uke. We did this, uh, I think, two weeks ago now. Yeah, two weeks ago. Um, so this is the position where we're going to be. And all the way over there, we're going down. And also, there is the flick of the one, two, yeah? So we kind of combine Tetsui of last week with Sotoke of the week before, yeah? 
uh, not a very hard technique if you do it the right way, a hard technique if you don't. So make sure you got to do this in the right way. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start over here on the count 10 times slowly with the right, 10 times slowly with the left, and then we're going to build up some more tempo in this. Make sure bring back the arm all the way through every time whilst you go there. Do this in the same movement. Push. So, push. stand over here, relax. Only the right arm is going to work now. Push. But you see properly. Good. Right arm, left on the shoulder. There we go. Itch. And think about moving at the same time. Me. Good. Done. Thank you. She. Go. Boop. Dish. Ash. Cool. Shira. Shira. And Mawate, other side. And again, as we just did, the height of the bridge of the nose. This is where we hit. Also, there we go. Ten times. Itch. Me. Sun. She. Go. Rook. Dish. Ash. Cool. Shia. Shia. And now red. Okay. Something we also got to think about is when we, let me do it like this. When we go over here, one, and this little snap is also the finish of the technique. Os. One, just as we did. One, one. Tight fists, loose wrist. Us, Darren said it. Us. Maybe in a little different way than I did, but make sure it's the same over here. Us. Us. One, two. Ten times on the right. A little bit quicker, a little bit sharper, but still not the way we want to finish it. Us. Ten Us. right. Ready? Push. There we go. Itch. Come back. Me. Sun. She. Go. Rook. Sish. Ash. Cool. And left arm. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rook. Sish. Ash. Cool. And loose. So now we're going to do 20 alternate in the right tempo with the right snap. One thing also very important when you do this technique, make sure you do this at the center of your face. Push your own face. Otherwise, you're going to miss and you shouldn't do it at all. So we go 20. Proper ones. Us. Ready? Us. Ish. Me. Sun. She. Go. Rup. Sish. Ash. Cool. Ush. A. An. A. Go. Rup. Ish. Ash. Cool. 
Aisha. And all right. Oh, sugar little drink. Over to the next technique. Oh, us. Us. Where'd she go? <coughs> okay. I'm going to work on uh, Meski, Neon Nukate. Okay. Um, first of all, we need to make sure that the fingers are just slightly apart. It's only the first finger that's slightly apart. It's not like this. Okay. You only need to clear the bridge of the nose. Now, I guess if you're fighting like someone like Chris Eubank, probably need to be a little bit wider because he's got a pretty big hooter, or myself. <laughs> uh, more often than not, it only needs to be a slight bit apart, okay? So the tricky thing with Neon Nukate is, is it's very similar to Johan Nukate. So we need these fingers in a line, okay? Not out here going like this really wide, and then sometimes this thumb even pokes out as well. We're going to keep the thumb in nice and tight. Keep the fingers in line slightly apart, okay? Now what we're looking at doing is pulling the fingers back this way, and broadening the hand this way, okay? And that's what we're trying to do to make this technique strong. Don't just leave it perfectly flat here thinking, oh yeah, this is gonna go through a watermelon like Jeff Wybrow, no problems. Uh-uh, it's not gonna happen. Remember, it doesn't need to go in far to someone's eyes. You don't need to scratch the back of their skull, yeah? It just needs to go in a little bit. Just needs to go a little bit if you're using Johan into the throat. It's gonna have an effect but you still need to make sure that your technique is nice and strong and that your hand is broad this way, pull the fingers back this way, not in this way. I see loads of people doing Johan Nukates. This is maybe a little bit exaggerated, but it's not far wrong. We need to keep them flat in this way and pull the fingers this way. Okay, yes, there is a bend on the fingers, but because we're pulling them back, this way brings him in a flat motion. Okay? Everything else is like a punch. It comes out, it twists, it strikes, okay? Obviously to the height of the eyes. The thing that people have the problem with is this duck position here, okay? If you hit anybody like this, you are 100% gonna break your fingers, okay? I'm not saying you're gonna go through four inches of wood at the moment with your Johan Lugates, but it's really important to know that this is a 100% fail rate, okay? This is gonna be okay if you hit something reasonably well and soft, okay? So, <clears throat> what we're gonna work on first is we're just gonna work on opening here, just this bit, okay? Keep the tension on, keep the, keep the, the hand nice and straight, not like this. Here, keep the hand nice and straight, and all we're going to do is this. We're going to keep it Johan Chudan at the moment, so you can everybody can see themselves in the mirror. Remember, it's not spot, live long and prosper. It's just the outside finger here. Okay, right. So keep the tension on in position. We've got ten on the right, ten on the left. Move on, and it should be very quickly this one. Ready? Itch, knee, sun, chi, do. Rook, shish, ach, ke, chu. Other hand, ready? Position, itch, knee, san, shi, do, rook, shish, ach, ke, chu. Cool. Okay, now we're gonna start striking. Now the hand, when it comes back, the fingers are closed. When it goes out, it needs to open, which is why I've done this exercise first. What we don't want to do is leave your hand open here and getting ready to strike. Keep it in nice and tight, drive out in position, okay? Right, so 10 easy, alternate, just see the little gap there. And maybe if you're aiming towards your own eyes, you'll be able to see a little bit of your nose in between, okay? Right, so 10, nice and steady, in position. Ready? Itch, knee, sun, shi, go, 
Okay, and now let's do 10 normal speed. Okay, so let's get nice drive out, good focus on the technique, good snap on the technique. Okay, ready? 10 and then we're over to Wesley. The H, E, San, Chi, Go, Red, H, H, K, G. Yeah. Now, right, shake loose, over to Wes, thumb, remember, tucked in, slightly apart with the fingers. That's probably all you need. Okay? Good job. That's a quick one there. Trying to really belt through these ones today. <laughs> Makes it a little harder for me now. Well, we can take some time on some other ones. That was fairly simple. Yeah. So... Um, first kicking technique because we need to warm up with this as well um, and this is probably one of the hardest kicks people um, people have the most problems with and it's a, a, a yokogiri or a side kick so we will do because it's still warm up and it's also in the sequence we will do kansetsu giri so just above the knee or on the knee joint is where you're going to hit us Obviously, feet in the kuto, big toe up, and this is what we're going to do first. So, every time you're going to kick a yokogiri, a konsetsu giri, you're going to think about this. Every time I'm going to pull up, I'm already in the right position feet in sukuto and not on the leg. Us, that's the lazy stick she hands who can't tie their belts anymore. Really big ones, you know, standing like that. That's not what we're going to do. Strong position, down. Strong position, down. Us, us. only 10 of these. Us, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and so on. Us, ready? Me, Sun, she, go, look, fish, ash, who, here, here. All right, so now from here, one kick. And drop it. That's not what we're looking for when we do the full kick. Now, just going to give you a little taste of only focusing on picking it up, kicking it out. One, two, drop. One, two, drop. One, two, drop. Good. Only ten. There we go. Itch. Me. Sun. She go rock dish ash cool cheer cheer oh that felt so weird this felt, this felt so weird didn't it kicking and bringing it back although it feels really weird. A lot of people don't do the pullback in the right position. This was a little bit exaggerated, but you will see a lot of people doing very, very bad, bad pullbacks on the yoko gear. So, next section <coughs> down, up again. And Oz. You, Oz. 10, one, two, three, and back. One, two, three, and back. Us. One, two, three, and back. Us. Us. Ready? Us. Here we go. Itch. Me. Sun. She. Go. 
Block. Sèche. Hache. Cool. Cheer. Cheer. Right. Nearly there, people. Now, up, out. And when we go out, I want you to really twist in the, the hips, twist back, go there. Also, one, two, three, four. Now, every time I kick, I'm gonna use this leg as well. Twist it in, go back, down, up, twist it in, down, back. Good? Right then, I know I am. One, back, one, back. Good, there we go. Itch, knee, sun, she, go, rook, sish, ash, cool. Uh, here. Oh, that's good. That's a good feeling, isn't it? Last thing we're going to do, bring up, one, two, and back. One, bring up, two, back. Os, os. This is not low, but at least half of the shoulder, maybe two them, and... Uh, Sorry, Darren, are we doing this? Jordan, is, is this a... In the cater it will be, but it, it, if, if you can't kick that high, and she's always said the arm should be kind of in line with the leg, so you shouldn't be going like this. Yeah. <laughs> if you can't yeah. kick Jordan, there's no point in you having your hand all the way up here, basically. Yeah. So, is, in, 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 in the the arm, the leg. But we can do it however we want right now because we're only we're, we're, we're just working. It's 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 about the the, the feeling as well. Correct <clears throat> hand to the side, not fully like this, but just bring it to the side with the wrist and also with the kick. Us and all of you guys, Us. obviously, you can all kick down stringer high. Us, ready? Let's get out for most people anyway. I'm so sure. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> one, two, one, two, ten, and then we we'll go together. Us. Bring it back all the way there. H. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rook. Sish. Ash. Two. Sure. Sure. Alrighty then. Good. <laughs> Little drink. Over to Mr. Stringer. Oh. Yeah. What I was thinking is there a in the sequence? Do we don't really do it, right? No. No. So we can do it as we want here. But in in in, in the catters. So when yeah. you do the likes of pin and knee, uh, okay. pin and yon. Okay. Where you have the, the arm going out as well, they're supposed to be on the same level as the kick. So if you're doing a Jordan kick, obviously you do a Jordan Urak, and if you're doing a Chudan, it's a Chudan. If you're doing a Gidan, it's a Gidan. Awesome. So it's just, it's just lying wherever your kicking capabilities are, really. Um, but yeah, we can do as we please in training. Okay, that's yeah. a good thing. You can adapt it as you want. Okay, so um, we've got a little bit of time, so I'm going to do um, more Shigeri. Uh, that is uh, one of the other kicks in, in, in the grade, and then um, we can move on. <clears throat> so, remember, there's a, a, a basic Mawashi Gary comes more around the fighting one, comes in whichever direction you want. If you want to roll it, if you want to cut it short, if you really want to bring it round, no problem whatsoever. But as, as, as a basic um, thing, we're going to. Uh, Work on the hips. You're going to stick to get at because that, that, you know that's that's where they are anyway, um, and it's actually a, a really good exercise. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to come out, twist back down, and it doesn't have to come up all, all the way to, to the hip and stay low. 
twist in. Okay, so we're going to work on that. We're going to do five on the, on, on the right, five on the left. But what effectively I want you to do is come out, twist back in. Out to the side, twist back in. Okay, and try to keep this at a good plane with the, with the shin almost hidden behind the thigh. Even if it's low down here, that's fine. It doesn't have to be all the way up here in position, okay? But what I'd really, really like to avoid is us doing this. Okay, concentrate on getting this up here, then twist back through in, okay? Five on the right, five on the left, then we'll move on, okay? Ready, edge, up, around, back, in. E, up, around, back, down. Sun, up, in, out. She, go. Good, and the other leg, itch. E. Sun. She. Go. Good, good. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the 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 the, um, the leg up to the front here, but effectively it will be to the side. But what we're looking at, we're looking at being in that end position here, and we're going to. Relax that off. It's going to be in position. Still going to be kicking gear down. Out, back, out, back. But what we're looking to do is really open them hips. What loads and loads of people do, and it's, it's a combination of bad technique and, and limited flexibility, is people tend to kick like this. Okay? I'm going to go through in a second because it's all going to make sense. It's, it's, it's what uh, Wesley pointed out on the last aspect of his kicking as well, that what we want to do is open up this hip, in position, and back. So we're going to go there, one, two, three, four, five, five on the left, then we're going to, uh, a little tip, and then we're going to put the whole kick together, okay? So, let's open up, hip, straight line, height is get down, so make sure it's pointing down, ready, itch, out back, knee, out back, try and hide this shin, sun, she, go, Good other leg, up, itch, knee, sun, she, go, good, and just relax, so, when we started off, I wonder, to be honest, I wonder how many people, and look at this foot here, started off like this. Okay, and how many people did this? Okay, if you were the first one, chances are your kick isn't going to be very successful. And on top of that, probably going to have bad knees at some stage. <laughs> I'm not saying you're not going to have bad knees anyway, but you're 100% more likely to have bad knees if you keep kicking like this. Okay? You might be thinking, ah, crikey, my hips are so stiff. This is all that allows me to go. Probably not the case. Because if you can do this, you can do the kick. It's just about transitioning from one position to the next. And Wesley highlighted it in the very last movement that he did. He highlighted here. The foot, twist, out, back. It's the same, okay? So if we start from here, up, around, open the hips, out, back, down, twist, back. It's as simple as that. But in your mindset, you're thinking, these are so hard. The kicks are really hard. Doesn't come round quite as nice as what Wesley's doing it. The yada yada yada. Because more than likely, Wesley is doing this: twisting, kicking, back. 
a fist in, kick in, back. And make it easy on yourself. To start off with, if you're having trouble with processing it all at the same time, twist this foot first because it will save your knee anyways. Okay? Keep the bend on the leg. Twist the leg. Up, out, round, back, in position. Okay? So we're now going to adopt, a, not as dangerous as that, but a really short fighting stance. A little bit of a bend on the legs. We're going to come out. We're going to twist. Out, back, twist, back. And what we're looking to do is our hips need to completely change their rotational value. So even if you started off square here, they'd have to come around 90 degrees. Chances are we're starting off at maybe a 60 degree adverse angle, and then it's got to come all the way through 120 degrees to make the 180 going forward, okay? So, uh, yes, let's, uh, let's work on this. <clears throat> if you're having trouble twisting at the same time, fine. Twist the foot first for now. You have to progress where it all happens at the same time. But for now, twist the foot slightly, come around back in position. Okay, Just five on one leg, five on the other leg, and then we can move forward with um, a, 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 a 10, 10 alternate and then move on, okay? So, short fighting stance, good bend on the legs all the time when you kick in, okay? We're coming up, out, round, back, in position. Nice controlled movement. Ready? Yep. There we go. A pitch, around, back, in. Knee up, around, back, in. Sun up, around, back, in. She go and change legs. Remember up, push the knee to where the direction the kick will go, back and around. Using this foot to pivot. Ready? Let's go. Edge up, around, back, in. Knee up. Round back in sun. She go. Aisha. And you can practice with like little benches, little stools, etc., to really make sure you get good rotation in your own time for a couple of ideas. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna be in food. Now it's quite hard for a lot of people, especially with restricted um Flexibility, especially when you get to Jordan. I'm going to take the count nice and slow. Please make sure that we pivot. We're coming around still each time. Just 10 alternate. Good kick, good speed, little rest. Next count, okay? All right, let's go. Ready? Edge. E. Sun. She go rock ash ash kick chi yeah yeah and relax it's a little bit of an elongated technique that we're using there but we have to practice long good rotation and most of all get that hip going forward and opening, otherwise the kick will always suffer when it goes high. Okay, make the best that your body can do. Over to Wesley. Oos. So, what we're now going to do, people, is we're going to do the full sequence. So we're going to do 6Q syllabus, uh, the way we, 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 we get it learned, not really the way we do it in, um, maybe in a grading, but definitely the way it is in the book. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more. Uh, there's 14 techniques <laughs> where uh, where uh, uh, 10 of them are different. Um, or sorry, nine, nine, eight. Eight of them are different. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do this on, on the count. And we're going to do three times the full sequence. Then we're going to go over to Mr. Stringer, who will probably do the first combination. Then I'll do a second combination. And then there's... Funnily enough, there is enough time to start off fifth cue. <laughs> so far. 
<laughs> so far, so good, right? We we'll only do te two techniques out of 50, but hey, we'll, at least we get there. Us. <laughs> You're this joint. Sanchin that you need. Am I safe? Sure. There we go. On the count. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rook. Sish. Ash. Two. Ju. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Sure. That's good. Let me put you guys on gallery view so I can check along. Ready? Oh, Two more times to go. A little bit more speed now. Oh, Me. Sun. She. Go. Rook. Fish. Ash. Ku. Ju. Itch. Me. Sun. She. Sure. Get. Good. Good. Now, without the count. One, two, three. On your own tempo. Us. Us. Ready? Us. Ajime. And now Ray. Oh, good. So far, so good. Saw some good stuff there. Everybody was working properly. Nice little techniques. You're thrown there. So me is very happy. Like Ali G would say. Me is happy. There you go. Okay. So first fighting combination. Uh, we're gonna poke someone in the eyes. And kid, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to use two of them kit. Okay, so we're, we're, we're going to use a Morshi Gidan and a Yokogiri Chudan. Uh, maybe not the most practical of uh, fighting combinations, but it definitely is usable. More, more importantly, what I'd like you to start doing is opening up the kit to get the second kick in. Okay, so that's that's the reason why we're we're um we're we're doing this. We're gonna do it all off the front leg. So we're gonna go Gyaku, Moshi, Yokogeri Chudan. Moshi Geri is Gidan, Yokogeri is Chudan. Now we've already done half the work. We've rotated, we've rotated, we've opened our stance here. Don't bring yourself all the way back here right now. One, two, put it down. And then stab through with the Yoka Gary. Okay? I'll make it real short because we want to finish this, uh, we want to finish some stuff off. Just six on one side, six on the other side. Concentrate, good technique. One, two, get the knee through each time. Okay? Ready? Let's go. Ouch! <laughs> to be a little bit more uh, experimental in this one now um, and I'm going to challenge you guys for whenever uh, whenever I'm maybe in two years or something when we go back fighting a little opponent doing a bit <laughs> boring uh, I would like you guys to try this 
And Us. please let me and Darren know if you've done any of this. Us, otherwise, training. Us. So, what we're going to do, we're going to stand over here with our opponent. Uh, both left leg in front. Us. Us. My opponent is going to attack me with a punch to my chest. I'm going to block, and from this position, I'm going to make Yurakan to the chest. So I'm going to block Yurakan and Stasky in there. Us. Us. Uh, let's, let's keep it like, let's keep it with that. Uh, there's so much things we can do with the legs as well. We just, let's keep it there. Us. One, two. Us. Us. One, two. Us. And really Us. drive it in the chest. Us. Six on the left, six on the left. And let us know if you've done it. Ready? Come on, take. Me. Sun. She. Go. Roku. Come on, take. Walk. You're acting. And Stasky. Us. Us. Hit the chest, break the ribs. Us, there we go. Ready? Ice. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Rock Aisha. Aisha. Do Mr. Stringer. Ready? <laughs> Such powerful stuff you're doing there. <laughs> right. Big Q. Big Q. So I'm going to start off with Shote Uke Gidan. Awesome. Uh, remember, Shote is the heel of the hand. So this area here, things are always together. Loads of people are notorious, especially if you look at a lot of Japanese people doing them. Like this. Yeah. yeah, it looks all powerful and stuff, but trust me, if you hit the boards like this, I know it's with a different part of your hand, but it's, it's all relevant. If you hit the boards like this with straw with your fingers like this, they go like this, rattle, and then you come, come away, and these knuckles across the middle are burning <laughs> like hell. So please try to fit, keep your hands close. The only person I have ever seen who is really 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 and i mean like all the time good at this is actually hanshi he's amazing honestly even at 80 odd years of age he's got a really really good open hand position never ever I, me sensei anil a couple of us you see our, you see our little pinky fingers maybe coming out at the times but hanshi is absolutely amazing at this honestly he's, he's really really good at, at open hand techniques and his, 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 his knife hand is shot a position they're always spot on in position so if you ever want to look at somebody look at him please because it, it's incredible every time um so we're going shot a okay get out <coughs> okay now what we are looking for is the hand will be at 45 degrees away from you Lo loads of people have done it this way a fair few people do it um, uh, 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 at 90 degree angles, but it should actually be at a 45 degree angle because what the, and uh, here we go, Bernardo, pay attention, a bit of bunkai. <laughs> <laughs> what actually happens is, is the theory is, is someone grabs your hand here and then we are hitting down on top of the thumb. Okay, and we dislocate the thumb out, we break the thumb, it doesn't really matter. We break the thumb, we break the grip. Okay, if someone has a grip on you around here and you hit this way, you're only going to get their actual thumb. I'm not saying it's not going to break off, but you know, if you have someone like maybe Sam Williams who's got incredibly flexible joints, it's just going to move around a little bit. But if you hit the top of the knuckle, here, it totally destroys it, okay? And that's the reason why we're doing this. We are hitting down at 45 degree angle here. So when we do double uh, morote shote in, in Nidam, the two bits here join and they're 45 degrees apart, not here. So when you're doing all them katas and stuff, 
45 degrees, not straight, okay? Many, many people do it wrong. Please don't be one of them, 45 degrees. The rest is pretty simple. We're just driving down nice and straight, okay? So all I'm gonna start off with, we're gonna be itch, the sun, chi, gul, rook, shish, hatch, kuju. That's what we're gonna start off with. So we, we can physically see the difference of our hand position. Wrist to wrist, thumb knuckles to knuckles, okay? And that's where we want to be right now, okay? So ready, itch, knee, sun, shi, gu, rook, shish, ach, ki, chi. Good, good. Now, obviously, by being here, flattens the hand a little bit, hits down nicely. Please don't hit here. See, loads of people doing shotes and as if they're going to do it, yeah, look at take it out. Okay. Apart from that, we're going to work on the block nice and slowly. Ten. And imagine, remember, we're at a centre line right now, not off to the side. So if someone has your hand here, we're literally going to hit down and back. Okay. So let's do this really slowly first. Leave the hand there for the first four. Down, hit the thumb, pull back, okay? And then the following six, slowly, we will do actual official pull back at the same time. First four, hit the thumb, pull back, hit the thumb, pull back, okay? Ready? In position. Edge, hit, pull. He hit, pull. Sun, hit, pull. She hit, pull. Pull. Now, all one movement. Go out and back. Rook. Ish. Ach. Kill. Cheer. And good. Just relax. We've got 10 good ones. And then we're moving on very, very swiftly. And we're not too bad for time, to be fair. <laughs> so far. Yeah, it's pretty good so far. We've always got time to ruin it, though. Don't worry. Ready? <laughs> Ten good ones. H, D, Sun, She, Go, Rack, Ash, Ash, G, G. And relax. Over to my good friend who will show us the next technique, whichever one he decides, because it's not in order. Yeah. Well, because my name is Spinning Stringer. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> but I have the Spin Doctor. So uh, yes. um, uh, there's, there's, there's so many mistakes in this. So I'm very glad that we are here to, to do this. Um, in fifth Q syllabus, the three last kicks are all, all of them are Ashiro. Ashiro oh. theories. But in the first two people do, there's not a lot of difference, although there really is. So that's what we're gonna, what we're gonna focus on. So we're gonna focus on the first one because obviously we're going back to Stringer and maybe he will do the next kick. Maybe he will do an arm technique. I can't say anything about this, but what I can say is that we will do the first version, the easiest version of the Ushira Giri. Why do I say the easiest version? After you've done the two two down kicks, what we do in the sequence is we do step across, spin, make a shiro giri. This is the first one. Us, the second one is a spin straight out of this, the, 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 the leading leg, this, 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 the leg you stand on. And the third one is a step and a step and then a shiro giri. Us, that's why I say the easiest one is where we start off with. Us, what we're going to do now is we're going to step in here, left leg, we'll be stepping across the right leg, and we twist ourselves into a good position. Us, Us. And then, then we're going to get back, and we're going to do straight away the other side. We're going to do 10 of these. Us, every time, turn your face back to the camera again, please. There we go. Ready? Us. You can keep your hands over here, it's no problem. Itch, twist, and back. Knee, twist, and back. Sun, twist, and back. 
Chi. Twist and back. Go. Twist and back. Rock. Twist and back. Sish. Twist and back. Ay. Twist and back. Cool. Twist and back. Last one, people. Share. Yeah. And come back. Let me show you why I am, am um, put focused on the twist. Look at, look at the thing I'm doing. So when I step across, I want to twist myself. I really want to use the hips for going in there with the kick. People stand there, turn around, and there's nothing in there. There's no power. Yeah, but, but, but I'm sorry, I can't, I can't, I can't do an Ashiro Yiri. Well, if you twist in the right way, you obviously can because the kick isn't hard. It's the, it's the turning and twisting, yeah? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just stand over here. We're gonna bring up the leg, kick and back. Bring up the leg, kick and back. With Ashiro Yiri, remember, you're hitting with Kakato. Osh, osh, one, and back over there. Us, there we go. Right leg, right leg, only 10. Itch. Me. Sun. She. Go. Rook. Shish. Ash. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Good. Now, five on the right leg, five on the left leg. What awesome. we're gonna do? We're gonna stand, twist, kick, and back. Us. Awesome. Awesome. Ready? Us. Awesome. Go. Itch. Knee. Sun. She go and hantai on the side. Itch me son. She. Go. Yeah. All right. So before we go over to the full range of motion, make sure that when you twist, one twist, look over your shoulder to know where you have to go. Us, look forward. A lot of people are tend to kick a little bit more to the outside. If you the way you want to go, your body's going to go there as well. Us. Us. So sure that when we stand over there, one, and now you bring it back. So you twist, one, kick, bring it back in a full, full circle. Us. One more time slowly. One, twist, kick, bring it back. Us. Uh, let's go alternate straight away 10 times because then we can go over to Mr. Stringer. Us. Us. Ready? There we go. Itch. Other side. Me. Sun. She. Go. Rook. Dish. Ash. Cool. Shia. And shake loose. Us. Remember, first kick, step over, kick, back in position. Us. Us. Over to Super Stringer. <laughs> That's good, Veronica. <laughs> yeah, 
that's the trouble with spinning a lot. Wesley's just the spinning top now, so it, it doesn't affect him no more. <laughs> okay, so uh, I, I, I would would like to do uh, Ishiro, Ishiro uh, Gary as well, but I'm actually going to do uh, one of the other blocks, which is um, Chudan Shote Fuke. Okay. <clears throat> Now this is probably like one of them, one of them really uh, easy convertible blocks uh, that we can do in fighting. Maybe not exactly the same, okay? And please don't believe that the Karate Kid, this position <laughs> <laughs> that he did in the eighties, is hundred percent real. It needs to adapt a, a little bit, okay? But it's very, very adaptable in, in, in actual fighting, okay? So we are we are going to work on this. Now it needs to be a short technique. The further we go out, the more the fingers start to point forward, okay? So we need to keep fairly close to us, around about the same kind of distance that your sotu okay would be. Okay. So we are coming around in position like this, okay? So elevate it up. Please don't bring it out and a long movement here. Keep it, angle the body, 45 degrees, in position. Comes up, out, angle through. Up, out, angle through. Doesn't take quite the long motion that Soto Uke does. In position, one. Okay, so obviously we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and this is where we are. Rotate in. This is the striking bit, so make sure we concentrate here. Good focus, center line only, don't go past, okay? So you see loads of people when they start doing Yancey, they go like this, here, yep, yeah. no, center line, angle the body. Just a smidgen past that center line is acceptable, okay? You good with this? So. Hmm. Go through this nice and quickly, and then Wesley can probably show us the next issue, Gary, because I know he, he really wants to. <laughs> okay. In position, making sure elbow is coming here, not like this. Okay. In the elbow behind the block, elevate the hand, push it through here. Okay, ready? So nice and slowly, first of all. Itch, uh, out, round, angle. Knee, up, uh, out, round, angle. Sun, she, go, rip, itch, itch. Here. Okay, relax. Ten sharp ones, nice and easy one this. I mean, to be fair, the arm techniques in this syllabus are really nothing to write home about. As long as your hand is in the correct position and you hit in the right place, there's not really much that can go wrong. As Wesley said, it's the kicks that loads of people tend to get wrong. Okay, a little hand adjustment here and there on the hand techniques and most people are good. Ten good ones, over to Wesley. Ready? And let's go. H, B, Sun, G, S, R, H, H, S, G. And now, right, and remember, push through with the core and the body. Okay? Quick drink if you want one, and let's see. Oh, are we going to do the spinning or are we going to do something else? <laughs> oh, so the next technique will be your No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. Second is here, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for letting me have in this, uh, Mr. Stringer. I'm, 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 very, I'm very pleased about this. Awesome. <laughs> um, as I, uh, as I already said before, know your limits, know your limitations. Um, and it's, it's, it's definitely not that Darren is not good at his spinning stringer stuff, but uh, he just uh, gives me a little bit shine, so that's amazing. 
<laughs> is step across. The second one is a spin out of one leading leg. What's probably what a lot of people will tend to do is when they spin straight away, it's going to be a little bit like Oshiro Mawashi. So that's definitely something we have to take care of. So um, this is just a tip for when you, when you are um, uh, teaching at your dojo and stuff. What, what, what you can do um, for your students who, who, who find this hard is let them make a spin at the wall. Because at this moment, they can't go any further and they have to do a shirigiri from out of a very strong object. So when they are over here, spin and kick and go back. We're not going to do that today, but what we are going to do is we're going to spin and stop our body over there. Spin and stop the body at the right time. Us. Us. Because you have to think about a lot of muscles in your uh, in your abdomen, in your legs. There's a lot of balance in there. So uh, try to be careful. We're, we're going to do this 10 times. Us. Us. Ready? There we go. Itch. And back. Me. And back. Sun. And back. She. And back. Go and back. Rook and back. Sish and back. Ash and back. Cool and back. Sure and back. What you probably normally learn when you do basics is to bring up the knee high and then kick back. Go high back again over there. Us. Now it's very hard to keep the balance because there's an element there which will disturb your balance. Us. What you're now trying to do, because that's when you, what you do when you fight, you don't want to show your opponent the knee. You want to be in a very short distance and from out of here, going to kick the liver or the spleen. Is it spleen? It's the spleen, right? Is it spleen? Yeah. Yeah, cool. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to do the same twist, but you keep your foot on the floor and you kind of bring it into nekwashidashi. Us. One. Bring it into nekwashidashi. One. Bring it into nekwashidashi. Us. Ten Us. times. Us. The kick. Still going to be the same. All the way there. It's going to be out, pull back, and that's it. Us. It's about the adjustment now. There we go. Ish, back. Me, back. Sun, back. She, back. Go, back. Rook, back. Stish, back. Ash, back. Cool, back. And back. Awesome. Question for you because I cannot understand what that says. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> how, how come she don't understand this Dutch? I'm really sorry. <laughs> it says, uh, "Do you twist on the ball of your foot?" Uh, yes, you do. Yeah. So um, for for Karina, I'm gonna say this in Dutch. Yeah, you draai op the ball van your foot. Op beide ballen van je foot. Uh, for the English people or the people who speak English. <laughs> You will twist on the ball of your foot. Us. Now, what we're gonna do, people, is we're gonna do the kick. Us, we're gonna do the alternate. 10 on the right, oh, sorry. 10, right, left, right, left, right, left. But I'm still gonna give you one more tip. Us, the, the way your elbow goes and the way your elbow in the twist, if I use my elbow to twist, I'm gonna get to the right position. Us. So make sure you use your upper body as well when you do Ishiro Giri or Ishiro Mawashi Giri or, or any spinning technique. Us. If you Us. push your elbow over here, you're gonna have a very hard time going that way with your body. Us. 
So oh, make so sure when you do this in fighting, when you do shirugiri, think about the right elbow hitting the same spot because your body will go there. Push. Ready? Twist. <clears throat> no stepping. Twisting. Push. Push. There we go. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Only 10. Ready? Ish. Me. Sun. She. Gosh. Rush. Sish. Ash. Kush. Shira. Shira. And I read. Sorry, whilst we were busy, I realized the count was maybe a little bit fast. I'm sorry. Oh, That's okay. Yeah. It's all right. It's, it's all right. Okay. Um, wow, we, we, we are actually really good for time today. I'm, yeah. I'm really surprised. Um, just a quick note on that um, for mainly the higher grades. You notice the way that Wesley did his... Um, his movement on the uh, Ishro Gary on the, the fighting version, not when he was bringing his leg up at the start. That movement is very, very important when you start doing urukatas. Okay, it's exactly the same. Please do not swing the leg around in a wild, elaborate movement because we're probably not going to get to cover them. So I thought I would mention it, mention it now, to be fair. You need to make sure that you are spinning. We are cutting through close to that leg, not swinging it all the way around, and it will help you loads and loads and loads. Okay, so not only for the kicking, but also for any spinning or a movement, that is going to be really helpful for you guys to um, not lose your balance and have a successful outcome. Okay. Right, um, I'm going to do one more technique and then Wesley can probably finish off uh, with something else. <clears throat> okay, right, so um, I'm going to keep it nice and simple and we're going to be doing Shote Uchi Chudan. Okay, now obviously the, the, the one, one of the problems is, is most people, they hit on the centre line here. Every, every other technique we're talking about, centre line, centre line, centre line, but we're actually hitting the ribs. On, on the side, because I think pretty much everybody will agree if we, if we try to hit it on the center line here, it will bend your wrist back. Okay, so we're looking at hitting the edge of the ribs, so it's not coming in on a full center line. Um, it's, 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 it's a bit similar with the gear down as well, but I, I'm not going to cover that. Okay, so make sure that when we do the chew down, we're just pulling it off center slightly so that the hand is going to fit on the edge of the rib cage and then go around the rib cage because well, if your wrists are anything like mine or worse, they're, they're not coming perfectly flat like this when they're out here. There is a natural angle that will exist and that will couple round on the ribs and, and, and the shot I hear makes the contact with the ribs. So please don't do it on the center line. Okay, so nice and easy, focus just off the center line with the Shote Uchi Chudan, and then we've got 10 slowly, 10 fast, and then over to Wes, okay? And then, I, um, I'm not sure what he's gonna do, but I'm excited to see. <laughs> Ready? Okay, nice and easy. Itch. Yee. Off the center line. Sun, not here. She, here. Go. Off the center line. Rook. Ish. Ouch. Kip. Chew. Okay, good. Nicely done. Ten good ones, and then we're moving on. Ready? Ouch. Yee. Sun. She. Ko. Rook. Ish. Ish. Kip. Chew. Relax. Over we go. Us. Oh my Us. God. Stringer is so, so efficient today. I know, right? I'm uh... <laughs> today. And he's very efficient. Today he's very efficient. Us. <laughs> so, obviously, guys, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do the last Ashura Giri. 
So we covered them all. Uh, and that means um, you guys can, after this, do some extremely good Ishirigiris in the 50 Q syllabus. Awesome. Yeah? Cool. So, step across Ishirigiri, spin Ishirigiri, and now uh, let's call it the, the Johnny Cage or the Chuck Norris or the Bruce Lee Ishirigiri. But the one thing that always goes wrong is that people do a shirugiri, a shirugiri, step across, yokogiri. Yeah. <laughs> Not the thing. So when you see people perform a very bad fifth Q syllabus, it's going to be looking like one, two, step, step, yoko, or maybe even worse, yoko. Os, you don't want that. Os, it's a shirugiri. So what we're going to do right now Stand over here, left in front, right, and bring your bum into the camera. Os, os, ready, itch, back, right, knee, you can pack it at you, sun, sun, <laughs> she, sorry, draw, Rook, Sish, Ash, Cool, Shia, Shia, and now red. Oh, and again, people, the kick is still the same. <laughs> it's still a shoe, Giri. It's still one. And back, us, then right, left, right, left, right, left. And I'll try to keep it down a notch and get excited. Us, right, doing this. Us, right, ready? Us, start off, right leg, right leg in front, left leg means kicking with the right leg as well. Us, ready? There we go. Us. Me, Sun, She, Go, Roku, Sish, Ash, Cool. Yeah. And now ready. Good. What then, guys? I think we have time to go over to Stringer for the full sequence. We do, we do. Oh, Back on track, yeah. baby. Two syllabuses. Woo! <laughs> okay, so um, as Wizzy said, the, the, the main ones that are going to give you problems are those last three. Okay, before we before we even start, let's recap over what Wesley said. The first one, step across, twist, straight back kick. The second one is a straight spin. Please do not straight spin and do an Ishiro Mawashi. Spin, control, back, out, in. The third one, we step across, twist, step through, and it's a back kick not a yoko gary okay we do not want to see you going here we want to see here punt out and back the three kicks the end process is exactly the same exactly it's only how you get there that is any different okay so please 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 remember that wesley is very good at these and he's given you a lot of good information don't let him down, guys. <laughs> I will try not to do the same. <laughs> right. Saying that, we have seven hand techniques before we get there and two more shigeris before we get there as well. Okay. So let's go through it fairly easily to start off with. I'll call out the name of the techniques to start off with for the first time only so that the low grades and those that are getting familiar with it will start to uh, get accustomed to it. Next time will be no, 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 no names. Third and fourth time will be a little bit quicker, and then we'll do one 
proper one, making five total. Okay, we all good for this? Any questions before we start? Everybody's sure about these back kicks? Mm. <laughs> well, he's going to be judging. He's going to be judging. Okay, ready? Budachi, Sanchinachi. Hey! Yeah. Okay, so the first one, Shote Uchi Jordan. Edge! Shote Uchi Chudan. Yu! Shote Uchi Gedan. Sun! Hiji Ate Jordan. Edge! Shote Uke Jordan. Edge! Shote Uke Chudan. Edge! Shote Uke Gedan. Edge! Yamoshigiri Chudan. Hai Soku. Edge! Yamoshigiri Chudan. Chusoku, itch. The first method, step, twist, back kick, in. Itch. So that's base. Next method, spin, kick, in. Itch. Third method, step, twist, yeah. kick, back, into Sanshindachi where we started off. Now remember on that last one, we go forward, we hit one, two, three steps back to exactly the same space where we started. Okay? Because we come forward, one, two, three, one, two, three, return. Okay? All What's understand. What's Names are irrelevant right now, but hopefully you're picking them up as well. The main thing is getting the techniques correctly. No names, just count. Fairly easy at the moment. Okay, back into Sanchin. Ready? Edge! E! San! Chi! Go! Rank! Ash! Ash! Edge! Edge! Shia! Good! Can't see all your back kicks, but hopefully they're going well. Um, I am going to put you on gallery though, so maybe yeah. I can. See. I'm going to check now. I'm I'm just going to check one. Yeah, there we go. Experts on the case. Okay, ready? A little bit of a faster count. Don't lose control, please, people. Ready? H D San G H R H H G H D Shia People, 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 please, although the count is faster, think about the three different Ashirogiris. Think about it. You 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 gotta be strict to yourself. Please, please be. It's it's not that that me or Darren trying to pick on you. It's just that we really, really would like to see you do and perform it well. I'd rather have you go a little bit slower or off the count than go on the count and make three, well, shitty kicks. Us. Us. Okay, one more by numbers and then one final one properly. Okay, back in position. Ready? H. D. San. Chi. Go! Rank! Ash! Ash! Head! G! H! E! Oh, that was amazing, guys. That was amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. So good, good work. Right. More Gore this time. I, I, I will, I will um, do a Ki every time I do a technique. To give you a rough pace, I'm not saying you need to keep to my pace. And as Wesley said, if the pace is too high, keep the techniques correct at a lower pace. Okay, it's very, very important. Then you can speed it up later. Okay? All right, here we are. Last go. Ready? More gore. Hey! Os! 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 Oats, 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 oats,
good, good. And Nari. Oh, super well done. Now, they are not the easiest kicks in any case. If you've never been taught them properly, they're even more difficult. Please revisit the video. It will be uploaded if you're having problems. We also did uh, Ishiro Gerry's and Ishiro Mawashi's, I think, really, really long time ago on one of our other videos. So maybe you can pick up the pointers then. They, they were more fighting orientated then, but um, there was some, some real good basic breakdowns on them as well. So please do focus, try and work them through because there is nothing wrong, nothing worse, should I say, than seeing three really bad Ishiro Gerry's that really are kind of like Ishiro Mawashi Gerry's, no focus, no great pullback. You're not doing yourself justice, okay? And we, you're, all, you're all much better than that. So please, please, please concentrate and, and do Wesley proud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, over to you. Yeah. Well, I got to say, um, on, the, on, the, on the third one, the, the, one, the, the, the quick count by Darren, some of you uh, kind of forgot about, oh, my God, oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? And, and, and in the fourth and in the fifth one, it was amazing absolutely spot on and and to be fair guys that's that's why we do it that's why we do this 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 gives us energy this gives us some so much pride um in doing this and 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 um as i talk for myself and for darren this this is this is why why we love to do this and this is why we love that you guys are here uh, hopefully um we always hope that that everybody gets teached in the right way um unfortunately this is not always the truth. Not because uh, I'm saying that your sensei or your shien is, is, a, is a bad teacher or teaching at you in the wrong way, but it's just the interpretation uh, people get from looking at a book or standing in the line where, where 100, 200, maybe 300 karate cars are. Not every, not every person has the, has the right uh, uh, interpretation of, 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 of what we're doing. I'm not saying Darren and myself are right. Uh, but I'd like to say that the interpretation we have on what we're doing um, is, uh, is at least a good interpretation. So um, hopefully y'all guys learned something today. It was amazing. I really, really got some energy out of this. And I would like to thank all of you. See you Thursday, guys. Awesome. Everybody can now good stuff. unmute yourselves. Thank you. Amazing guys. I actually needed those two for my next belt grading. So it was perfect. <laughs> it was perfect. So uh, I need that for December. So thank you very much. Awesome. <coughs> very, very good. Yep. Yeah. Is Jackie? Thank you. See you Thursday. Yes. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. See you Thursday. Bye. Yep. Yep. bye. Those boys. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Problems. Cheers, John. Thanks, gents. See you Thursday. Thank you. Awesome. Right. Awesome. Guys. Cheers, Florian. Good work. <laughs> you know, I'm okay. mute, Chris. <laughs> you don't have to unmute, obviously, but, you know, you can do if you want. Thanks. Ah, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. I'm here. Thanks, everybody. It's very good. Awesome. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Yes. I very much hope so. Take care, my friend. Yeah, right. Bye. <clears throat> Hopefully it helped you out a bit today, Veronica, with the uh, with the Ishiro's, seeing as you said that was you. <laughs> doing the Yoko. Yeah. Yes. Now I know I've been doing it wrong all this time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Sorry I was late again. Uh, it's all right. Don't worry about it. Well, well, thank you. Good lesson. You're here. That's all that matters. You guys have a good evening. Yes, Thank and you. yourself. Bye. Bye.